I'm really excited. I just received my Site Plus Cube Mini Bicycle Tire Inflator. This is the smallest rechargeable electric bike pump available right now. So we're going to unbox it, charge it up, and test the crap out of it. All right, so let's unbox the Cube Mini Bicycle Tire Inflator by Site Plus. Here. All right, so it does come with a charging cord. It's in a nice protective rubber case, so it can't get scratched or dinged up. You could throw it right in your saddlebag. It's got a USB-C charging port, some kind of a little light. Maybe that's a button. Okay, cool. All right, so let's see what we have here. Specs here, 97 grams, working time about 200 seconds. That's about three minutes and change. Maximum pressure 100 PSI. The inflator is ready for press to valves right out of the box. For Schrader valves, reassemble the nozzle as shown below. Okay, so there's a few parts as far as uh, making it Schrader or Presta compatible. So we'll get into that. We'll be using both. Let's charge it up. Whenever I charge something at home, I like to use the higher power chargers. Uh, these put out 2.4 amps, so that's 10 watts plus per outlet here. I'm going to plug this in and let it charge for a while. So the unit will flash red while it is charging, and when it's fully charged, it will have a solid green light. According to the manual, it will charge fully in 25 minutes. Uh, it's about two and a half inches long, about one and three quarter inches wide at the widest part, an inch deep, according to my Ronald McDonald roller coaster here. It's advertised as 97 grams. I'm showing 98, so that is pretty accurate. Let's compare that to a CO2 inflator, just to compare the weight here. We got 78 grams. I actually carry two cartridges with me. So with two cartridges, you are looking at about 40 additional grams of weight. This one here is the Ultra Flate by Genuine Innovations. Also 138 grams with one cartridge. With a spare cartridge, you're looking at 180 grams. If I were a real weight weenie and I cared about every gram, I would say the Psych Plus is going to be the lighter option. As far as the amount of room it takes up, they're going to take up about the same amount of room whether you throw it in your jersey pocket or in your saddlebag. So the Psych Plus Cube can inflate a Presta valve or a Schrader valve. It comes set up for a Presta valve. If you want to use it on a Schrader valve, it's very simple to change over. You just need to pull this part off. Just set the little pin in the middle there. Flip the rubber grommet over so it looks like this. And screw this back on. And you're set up for a Schrader valve. When you're using a Schrader valve, you will have to keep pressure on the pump. And we'll show you that in a second. All right, we got our green light here. So we're fully charged up. All right, so a couple of things on the operation of the Site Plus Cube. When you first press the button, it's going to light up either green, orange, or red. So if you press this button and the green light comes on, that tells you you have between 80% and 100% charge. If it's yellow, it's 50 to 80%. If it's red, it's less than 50%. So to get this thing to work, you first you press the button to activate it, and then you need to press the button two more times within three seconds to start the pump. So it'd be one press to turn it on, then two more to start it up and then press it again to shut it off. So now we're going to take this completely flat tire. This is a 700 by 35C. I'm going to put this on here. This is totally flat and I'm going to run it for about two minutes. So first we need to press the button to activate. All right, so let's activate. Press it twice. All right, let's see how we did here. All right, that was about 55 PSI. This tire is rated 55 to 85, so about two minutes charge, you'll get enough pressure in there to get going. All right now you'll see when I press the activation button, the light is yellow, which indicates a 50% to 80% charge. All right, so we still have a yellow indicator here. We already pumped this tire up once to 50 PSI. Let the air out, so let's pump it up again and see how far we get before the pump actually dies on us. So we got four minutes of runtime out of this unit before it actually died on me. So that was two minutes per inflation. And I think we did okay. So let me see what kind of pressure we have in here now. 
another 50 plus. So we were able to pump up a 700 by 35 C gravel tire twice to a little over 50 PSI on one charge, equivalent to maybe two CO2 cartridges, two complete inflations of this tire. So it was able to pump this tire up enough to definitely get you home. 50 PSI would be on the low end for this tire, but it's, it's high enough. All right, so let's try this on a different tire. Okay, so here's test number two. Here we have a tire. This is a 700C by 25 millimeter tire. And the max pressure on this is 120 PSI. It has a uh, max of 100 PSI, but let's see if we can get it to 100 PSI. Now this is a Presta valve. We have this set up currently for Schrader. So all we need to do to make this work for Presta, take out the rubber seal. Take out the Schrader pin that just drops out. Put the rubber seal on this way, and then simply screw this back on. So now it looks like that inside there. All right, so we're gonna put the silicone cover on here because this thing gets really hot. And see here, we're at green. We're gonna let this run for about two minutes and see where we're at, and we'll go more if we need to. But let's see how far we get in two minutes of runtime. <laughs> Just for the heck of it, I want to see where we're at after one minute. Feels like it's hard enough to ride on, but let's see what kind of pressure we have here. Okay, after one minute, we're at 65 PSI. Probably not enough for this tire, so let's go another minute and see what we get. All right, that was uh, two minutes of inflation. All right, we're at about 85 PSI. That's enough to uh, ride on this tire, I would think, to get you home. Uh, let's see if we can get to 100 PSI. All right, we got three minutes of pressure. Let's see where we're at. We're at about 90. Okay, I'm gonna say uh, that's gonna be enough to get us home so I don't think it's going to do this tire again but I'm going to let the air out and give it a second shot okay now we've let the air out of the tire again I've got three minutes of runtime on this charge I'm probably not even going to get another minute out of it but let's see where we get after one more minute of runtime and see if we can get this tire anywhere near where we need to be to ride it home Right. This thing is pretty consistent. It seems like it runs almost exactly four minutes before it dies. Okay, this is dead now. Let's see where we're at. All right, after pumping this tire up the first time to 90 PSI, the second time we can only get 50 out of it. You know, I, you could probably ride home on 50 PSI uh, without damaging your rim. So, you know, you can probably squeeze out two inflations on one charge with this Psi Plus cube inflator. My thoughts on the Psych Plus cube uh, mini tire inflator, I really like the way it works. It does a real nice job inflating the tire. It, it, it can get pretty close to 100 PSI. It's tiny, it's lightweight, very convenient. Um, I do like it, it charges pretty quick. I did test the charging time. It charges in, it says 25 minutes. It charged in way less than 25 minutes for me. It took about between 10 and 15 minutes. I wasn't right there when it hit green, but it came over 15 minutes later and it had been charged from completely dead as it is now. So so I'm not sure if this is something I'd rather do than CO2 cartridges. What I like about the CO2 cartridges is CO2 cartridge will inflate your tire in like three seconds. Holding this on there for two minutes, I don't know. It, it's a great idea if you're not big on the CO2 deal. Some people don't like the way uh, environmental impact and things like that. And this is a rechargeable. This can be used over and over and over again. It is expensive. It's about 89 bucks. This setup here for what I have in my hand is going to be like 15, less than 15, and you can buy a six pack of these for 20. It's pretty pricey, but you know, it does the job. It, it does exactly what it's advertised to do. There'll be links down in the description for both of these items and links to some of my videos on CO2 inflators. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and please check out the description below for links to all these products if you'd like to know more.